The three years' time decreed by the Lord having been completed, Joachim and Anne set out from Nazareth, accompanied by a few of their kindred, and bringing with them the true living Ark of the Covenant, the Most Holy Mary, born on the arms of her mother in order to be deposited in the Holy Temple of Jerusalem. The beautiful child, by her fervent and loving aspirations, hastened after the ointments of her beloved, seeking in the temple him whom she bore in her heart. This humble procession was scarcely noticed by earthly creatures, but it was invisibly accompanied by the angelic spirits, who, in order to celebrate this event, had hastened from heaven in greater numbers than ordinary as her bodyguard, and were singing in heavenly strains the glory and praise of the Most High. The Princess of Heaven heard and saw them as she hastened her beautiful steps along in the sight of the Highest and the True Solomon. Thus they pursued their journey from Nazareth to the Holy City of Jerusalem and also the parents of the Holy Child Mary felt in their hearts great joy and consolation of spirit. They arrived at the Holy Temple, and the Blessed Anne, on entering, took her daughter and mistress by the hand, accompanied and assisted by St. Joachim. All three offered a devout and fervent prayer to the Lord, the parents offering to God their daughter and the most holy child in profound humility, adoration, and worship, offering up herself. She alone perceived that the Most High received and accepted her, and, amid divine splendor which filled the temple, she heard a voice saying to her, Come, my beloved, my spouse, Come to my temple, where I wish to hear thy voice of praise and worship. Having offered their prayers, they rose and betook themselves to the priest. The parents consigned their child into his hands, and he gave them his blessing. Together, they conducted her to the portion of the temple buildings, where many young girls lived to be brought up in retirement and in virtuous habits until old enough to assume the state of matrimony. It was a place of retirement especially selected for the firstborn daughters of the royal tribe of Judah and the sacerdotal tribe of Levi. Fifteen stairs led up to the entrance of these apartments. Other priests came down these stairs in order to welcome the blessed child Mary. The one that had received them, being, according to the law, one of a minor order, placed her on the first step. Mary, with his permission, turned and kneeling down before Joachim and Anne, asked their blessing and kissed their hands, recommending herself to their prayers before God. The holy parents, in tenderest tears, gave her their blessing whereupon she ascended the fifteen stairs without any assistance. She hastened upward with incomparable fervor and joy, neither turning back nor shedding tears, nor showing any childish regret at parting from her parents. To see her in so tender an age, so full of strange majesty and firmness of mind, excited the admiration of all those present. The priests received her among the rest of the maidens, and Saint Simeon consigned her to the teachers, one of whom was the prophetess Anne. This holy matron had been prepared by the Lord by special grace and enlightenment, so that she joyfully took charge of this child of Joachim and Anne. She considered the charge a special favor of divine providence and merited by her holiness and virtue to have her as a disciple who was to be the mother of God and mistress of all the creatures. 
Sorrowfully, her parents Joachim and Anne retraced their journey to Nazareth, now poor as deprived of the rich treasure of their house. But the Most High consoled and comforted them in their affliction. The holy priest Simeon, although he did not at this time know of the mystery enshrined in the child Mary, obtained great light as to her sanctity and her special selection by the Lord. Also, the other priests looked upon her with great reverence and esteem. In ascending the fifteen stairs, the child brought to fulfillment that which Jacob saw happening in sleep. For here, too, were angels ascending and descending, the ones accompanying the others meeting their queen as she hastened up, whereas at the top God was waiting in order to welcome her as his daughter and spouse. She also felt by the effects of the overflowing love that this truly was the house of God and the portal of heaven.